Okay, guys, I'm here today with Rafael Lovato. Huge honor for me. Guys, one of the biggest legends in Jiu-Jitsu and grappling in general. World champion with Gui. Second place on ADCC. Bellator World Champion. Uh, World No Gui, IBGGF World Champion. So, one of the biggest names of the history of our sport. And he just shot an entire structure all about the Open Guard Foundations. And I'm super excited to learn from him. I remember, like, Open Guard was always, like... Your best move when you were on board all about it. Yeah, you know, my whole career uh, coming up in the lower belts, I was always a guard guy, um, you know, and it wasn't until I was already a black belt that I really became, I started getting to, getting known as a passer and, uh, and, and a mounter, you know, and that sort of thing. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy it went that way because then I could kind of go match by match and decide if I wanted to play more on top or if I wanted to pull. Uh, but I love the open guard, specifically Omoplatas. I love to attack Omoplatas. Yep. And, um, and yeah, you know, so now uh, these days I, I have some things that I do a little different because um, I'm very much, you know, a little older these days. And yeah. I'm, I'm very concerned on being able to slow the passer down and always keep myself in good position to neutralize. Um, so I'm not as, a, as offensive as I used to be, but I feel that uh, because I'm, 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 uh, evolving my game to really slow the other person down. I, I've developed some new things that, um, you know, really make my guard even harder be, to be passed and and easier to get a few of my favorite attacks. Got it. No, that's amazing. And uh, a big part of our audience is like older guys. And I think that's one of the reasons that they like you so much because your game is so simple and so like a... Uh, the title is great, like foundations. Mm -hmm. It's it's, mm -hmm. it's all about the foundations mm -hmm. of your jitsu. When I see yes. you competing, for example. Yeah, thank so, you. Yeah, now, now these days I like to talk about timeless jujitsu. You know, the the jujitsu that that we can do for the rest of our lives. You know, the type yep, of techniques yep. that we can do forever. You know, sometimes we spend a lot of time working on a, a technique or a movement that you can really only do when you're young. You know, yep. and I I definitely like to direct my focus into positions and and techniques that. I know I can do for the rest of my life yeah, no, uh, safely and yeah. and easily. So um, yeah, you want to take a look at some, yeah, some what we did. Yeah. So what I really like to be sure of, you know, and in in this first series, the foundations, we're really just talking about the person being on their knees. Okay. Um, and in the future, I'm going to get into them standing yeah. and uh, and how that changes the game. But what we're really talking about here is is making a guard headquarters. So. You know, a lot of people are familiar with my passing headquarters. Well, I have a guard headquarters as well, all right? And that's me making sure that I get my legs inside your arms and I start to work your elbows out, yep. all right? So as long as your elbows are out from your body and my legs are inside your arms, it's very hard for you to do anything offensive at this point, you know? And I'm always gonna make sure I'm keeping your hands off my leg, right? Okay. The other thing I like about this, especially for the, the older practitioners, you know, uh, inside of my open guard game and open guard discussion, we're always going to look for the opportunities to bring the person back into our closed guard. Okay. You know, because if you're in my closed guard, you're not running around, you're not breaking grips. You have full control. Yeah, I have full control. I can slow things down. Yeah. So inside my whole open guard series, uh, I'm always looking at different moments to catch the person back in my closed guard. Okay. So the first thing I like to do is get this inside control, and then I flow between three main grip games, okay? Either double sleeve, playing with the spider, all right, with the foot and the bicep. Here's my omoplata attacks. You know, I have my triangles and everything. Collar and sleeve, okay? So now I get to control your posture. Uh, once again, I still have my omoplata here, all right? Um, and really playing the collar sleeve game with the leg inside, yep. you know? I don't like to play like this because now I'm gonna let you use your elbow yeah, yeah. and get to better position. So in all my all my open guard games, I try to make sure your elbows are out, uh -huh. right? And then that's what allows me to find those omoplatas all the time, all right? And then the last grip game that we look at is the two on one, sure. which yeah. is not as common. A lot of people don't play this game, yeah. you know? But for me, it's one of my favorites because there's no grip for you to break here. Yeah, I'm mean, here right? I feel completely trapped. Yes, right? yes, and I get to control your posture. And the other thing that happens that I find with the two-on-one is because you're so worried about a triangle, you'll throw your arm over my leg, yes, to avoid it, and, and now, back. Yeah, yes, awesome. now I have the closed guard oh, with awesome. your arm across. 
I also love to play Butterfly from here. One of our other series that I've done with you guys, the Side Butterfly, is a nice, nice connector from the two-on-one. So I love the angle that this creates. I love how safe I feel in all of these games. You know, I have complete control. I have my offense. And each one of them um, is actually very similar in their own way, where I can find closed guards, I can find omoplatas, yep. um, and, and I have a nice blend of sweeps and submissions Got together. It. Oh, Olivar, but it, it's fun because while you were teaching, everything that you were saying, it's exactly like when I'm trying to pass, I try to avoid. Right. So, for example, I always try to keep my both elbows mm -hmm. closed. I always try to make a grip somewhere. Mm -hmm. So you pretty much like break down everything that the person should be attacking. Right. You, you open up. Mm -hmm. And then he's in the, always in the trap, right? That, that's the neutralization first approach. Yeah. I know if I can take away your structure and your positioning, oh. I'm safe and then I can attack confidently. Oh. You know, I don't like to uh, have a million different moves, you know, each one based on you getting a different grip or doing oh. a different oh. thing. I only need a few things, particularly the omoplata. Most oh. of this series revolves around getting the oh. omoplata. Oh. Yeah. Um, and I know if I have your elbows out and I have my position just right, the omoplata is gonna be there, you know? Yeah. So like, for example, if, if I was playing with the spider and you had a, a pant grip, you know, and I broke this off. You're probably going to grab my lapel afterwards, yep. you know, and try to get your elbow in. So I'm going to immediately going to come back through and break it back off, you know, yep. and I want to keep these arms out. So now I have my attack, Got it. you know, and I, I don't let you develop a better position. I want these arms You're always out. in control. Yes. Keeping every 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 move inside kind of like your foundations mm -hmm. exactly uh, and totally. then if they're out i can always find the close guard you know because yep. you can't block it with your elbows I get it. you know and like i said uh the older that i'm getting these days if i can get close guard i'm gonna take it you know oh love to and the, it's awesome because i remember like that's how we won the world championship right i remember like in the last mm -hmm. second we got an omoplata yes and That's then right. you score and the uh, right and the uh, and it was pretty much like from those moves that you were showing, right? Like yes. keeping oh either close guard or open guard and mm -hmm. connecting from all the platter, right? Exactly. And making sure uh my leg is in between their their elbow and their ribs. Got if it. you're in this space, there's an omoplata there for you. Got 100 percent And uh Lava just talking a little bit about history here. So you were the second American ever to win the IBJF World Championship, right? Yes. Was yes. BJ Penn you? And now the yes. third one. Well, and then uh, there's Robert Drysdale. Uh, yeah. He, he was. Oh, he's a half, he's, yeah. half American, half Brazilian. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Yeah. I got it. And then after that was. Mikey and Jamil. Jamil. Man, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. So, guys, you guys can see here, like, uh, Lovato has this game that I think it's very easy for anybody to learn and practice. Many times we film instructors that they have very, like, complex games. And Lovato is the opposite. It's everything very simple that I think everybody can do it. And the, and the, the other thing that I, that I sorry to interrupt, yeah. the other thing I talk about there is when to utilize each one, spider, cross collar, yeah. and the two on one, depending on what size you are. Um, so if you're smaller versus a bigger guy, I really like the two on one. Good. Because now they can't bring Good. any direct weight on you. So yeah. they're, they're gonna learn um, you know, the strategies Good. and the techniques. And yes, this is Jiu Jitsu for everybody. Um, that's that's, that's awesome. uh, all I like to do these days. Yeah. So guys, uh, it's gonna come out at bjjfanatics.com soon. So the foundations of Open Guard, Open Guard Foundations. Mm -hmm. So make sure to check that out. And thanks so much, Thank Olaf. Thank you, Bernardo. Appreciate the Thank you. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe, and to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.